Hello, and welcome back to Something in the Shadows. Today, we have a story entitled, The Little Hands. I've never lived in a haunted house, but my mother did as a teen. Other houses on her street had strange things going on too. A few homes away from her lived a family. One night, the daughter went to bed with a bad headache. The next day, she was dead. She passed away from an aneurysm. After the funeral, the family went away to get their minds off the tragedy, and the father asked my uncle, my mom's brother, to check on their pets. My mom and dad, who were dating at the time, went with him. My mother had heard there was a grand piano and she wanted to play it. My dad was studying to be a veterinarian. After entering the house, my uncle and my father headed to the basement to see animals, and my mother went to the piano on the ground floor. She was playing it when she felt something brush her ankle. She thought a cat must have been left. She thought a cat must have left the basement, walked past her. She kept playing until she felt it again. She looked under the piano and saw nothing. When she started again, she felt hands clasp her leg tightly. She dashed to the basement door, called my uncle and father, and waited for them. Back outside, my uncle could tell my mom was rattled and asked what's wrong. She told him what happened, and he turned white. He told her the daughter who had died used to play a game with her father. When he played the piano, she'd crawl underneath and grab his ankles and push his feet up and down on the pedals. Our next story is entitled The Phantom Patient. The ambulance company that I used to work for had a haunted ambulance, rig number 12. A lot of EMTs had stories about it, but I never put much stock into paranormal stuff. That is, until I had my own experience with Rig 12. My partner and I were working in a rural community at around 3 a.m., and it was pitch dark and completely quiet. We were both dozing. I was in the driver's seat, and she was in the passenger seat. I woke up to a muffled voice, but I thought my partner was talking. I told her I was trying to sleep and closed my eyes. I distinctly heard a male voice say, Oh my god, am I dying? Followed by a few seconds of heavy breathing. My partner and I sat up straight, looked back into the patient compartment where it sounded like the voice had come from. Things were quiet for a couple of seconds. Then we heard the click of an oxygen bottle regulator and a hiss, as if it were leaking. I turned on the lights and we ran out of the rig. I thought a transient might have climbed in there while we were asleep. So we opened the rear doors. No one was there. I checked the oxygen bottles. Neither of them was open. We didn't sleep much after that. This has been two ghost stories. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And have a horrifying day.